Can I record my screen on both Windows and Mac without purchasing extra software? How is Nimbus Capture work? How to set it up? Let's figure it out. When name and add and tag, that's LED. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are the first time to visit LED, be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you already belong to the community, feel free to click the bell button so you will catch up with any video updates that I made. Some students just missed a meeting this morning and I want them to attend, but there's no makeup time for it. Uh, I would like to record step-by-step -step video so that my participants would know it and I'm not repeating myself millions of times. Does any of this scenario sound familiar to you? I found it really helpful to create such a step-by-step -step guide with visual like this one you're seeing now. I also found video as a really helpful visual audio support for remote anything. Now in this video, I'm going to address the three questions that I just asked in the beginning of the video. Let's go ahead and see how it works. The Nimbus Capture is an extension for Google Chrome. This means that whatever operation system that can be installed Google Chrome browser, it will work, including Windows, Chromebook, and Mac OS. Simply open the Chrome by inputting Nimbus Capture Chrome. The first result should be the extension. After the page load up, simply click on the bottom Add to Chrome and add extension. Chrome will automatically download and install with just one click. And how fast it will take depends on your network connection as well as how fast your computer responds. After it installed, it will pop up and let you know that the software is ready. And right after that, I want you to locate this puzzle, tap on it and pin the Nimbus screenshot extension for quick access. And after that, you will see it's right next to the puzzle. If you click on it, the most part of the first page is capturing picture in different ways. In my person use, I found the capture fragment entire page, as well as the desktop is the most useful. Capture Fragment means that you can choose different parts of the website or the page that you want. For example, if you want this part, you can click Check, Save, Cross, Cancel. And if you want to capture the entire page, which means that not only the part you see now, but rather <coughs> this capture software is actually helping you to capture the whole entire website you don't have to just save it and it will automatically pop up in the new screen after the loading it will show you the whole website in one page now this is good for um, meetings hosts or teachers that you want to show a full overview for your student or participant and back to that that's desktop is easy to understand just capture the whole screen with all the buttons on top this is called capture desktop now let's go to the record video, which is the mid of today's. I would suggest keep the mic sound and the tap sound in open, which is like you see green. In this case, it will record your own voice as well as whatever sound comes out of the video. And if you want to record yourself, you can also select the webcam option. This two option and the bottom is useful if you just select tab, it will only record the tab that you select. For example, if you select this one, you can still do something on the other tabs and it will not be recorded. If you choose the desktop, which is you want, there are multiple different function software you want to show, we make sure to choose this one and it will record the whole screen, whatever you move, it's in here. Instead of just keep it one eye in one single tab. Now after that, you just have to start recording and then you can choose do you want to choose the entire window application window or a chrome tab it's actually three layers 
For example, I only want to capture that one tab. Choose that, and now you will see a little blue rectangle pops up. This means that it's capturing this screen. If you want to stop, simply click on this red dot, stop recording. The new windows will pop up with the recording that you just made. You can stop playing the over, uh, I mean the preview by just single tap on it. It will automatically play for most of the time. And here, two reminder, the video creator, it's actually contain two basic options, crop. It's whatever part you want to crop. Select the part you want. This is one. Next is trim. Now, for this part, you have to select the part you don't want. Choose that and remove the selected. After you choose that, the last part will not pops up. And you can discard. Remember to click save video before you leave. After you click save, choose the place you want to save the video and it will automatically download. Now for that, you finish the whole screen recording option. With that said, it's the end of this video. Thank you for watching and please like this video if you found it helpful. Support LED by simply click the red subscribe button, comment down below for what support you need and what questions you have during the remote everything age. See you next time. Peace.